Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm the Lean Mind Body Coach. I'm really pleased you decided to join me. Today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. Normally I'm about giving information about how to live a lean mind body life. That's focusing on your sleep, your nutrition, which is obviously low carb, your exercise and having the right mindset. But every so often, you know, I do a cooking video, I think, because I love to cook. I think anyone embarking on a new healthy lifestyle should learn how to cook. That's a skill set. And bake is even better because there's so many fantastic treats you can make on a low carb diet. And today, I am going to make some low carb bread. I get asked this question all the time on a low carb diet. Do I have to give up bread? And I keep saying no. And I'm just gonna show you an easy recipe of how you can make your own bread at home, especially during this lockdown period. So this is everything that I need. I am thinking it's everything I need, but yeah, it's everything that I need. And let's see how it all comes out, fingers crossed. All right, so firstly, I have 170 grams of almond flour here. It's the finer the better, the finer the almond flour, the better. You can use ground almond, but if you can get really fine almond flour, it's even better. You can also substitute the almond flour for coconut flour. I have six eggs here. I have three teaspoons of baking powder, and I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you don't know what cream of tartar looks like, this is cream of tartar. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of that. I'm also going to use about 60 grams of melted butter. You can convert that into fluid ounces if you want. I'm going to use a pinch of salt. I'm using rock salt, but if you I normally use pink Himalayan salt, but I've actually ran out, so I'm gonna use rock salt today, which is just as great. And I'm also gonna use six to seven, maybe eight drops of stevia, and that'll help take away the kind of eggy taste that sometimes is left when you're making this recipe. And the tools I'm gonna to use, I'm gonna have a couple of bowls here um, for beating an egg and, and serving an egg. I've got a handheld mixer here, which I love. It's just so easy to use. And I've got a baking tray, about a nine inch baking tray with some lined baking paper here. And then here we have just some, you know, just my tools I'm gonna use to mix with. So let's start and yeah, let's get the, the process going. So the first thing you have to do is separate the eggs because what you want to, to do is just have the, the egg white so you could you can beat them into soft peaks. So this is something that I always used to find difficult in the beginning, but now it's just kind of crack the egg and from side to side and that releases the egg white and then we'll just pop the, um, the orange bit of the egg in another bowl. Let's, let's do that again. Back and forth, yes. Let's get that egg white out of this. A little bit messy, this part, but you know, cooking can be messy, can't it? But it can also be, that can also be the fun part. Unless you've got someone who always complains about how you mess up the kitchen when you cook. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly the tidiest cook, but I can, you know, defend myself a little bit in the kitchen. So there we have it. All right, so that's three of the eggs. Let's continue. Let's get them all out, all the egg ones out. I really hope during this lockdown period, all your family and friends and loved ones are safe and well. And look, what better period to be able to learn some new skills when it comes to cooking than during the lockdown period. I think it's a fantastic time for you to be able to learn some extra skills when it comes to baking and when it comes to cooking. So yeah, it's a really, really great time. Yeah, takeaways are closed, the restaurants are closed. You know, life will never necessarily be the same when we get back to, if it can be called normal again. So yeah, now is a great time for you to learn some extra skills when it comes to cooking and baking is one of those times. Yes, yeah, so let me just wipe my hands a little bit there. So now what I'm going to do is, yes, 
mess has started already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna beat these egg whites into what's called soft pink juice in the mixer. Very easy. It takes about a couple of minutes to do. So you have it coming along nicely. You can see it's coming along really, really nicely, but we're just going to beat it a little bit more. Some real nice, soft heat. Okay, there we go. I think that's done quite well there. We're going to add um, a quarter spoon of the cream of tartar now, just a quarter spoon inside the, the egg whites. And just make it about a quarter spoon and then we'll just beat that just a little bit more okay so there we go there looking absolutely fantastic okay so now we're going to take the egg yolk and what we're going to do we're just going to take about a third of the yeah about a third of the beaten egg whites we're going to add it to the egg yolk okay we're also going to add in the melted butter okay there goes the melted butter we're going to add in the baking powder three teaspoons we're also going to add in the almond flour okay add that all in there the 170 grams of Almond flour. We're going to add a little pinch of salt, which helps to always in baking, helps to bring out the flavour. So we're going to add a, a pinch of salt there, and then we'll also add the, the drops of stevia. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't count. Okay, all right. I don't like stevia, I prefer it to um, xylitol. And the other one. So then we're just going to just beat this very, very tight. Let's mix this in the bowl. Yep. So we're just going to mix this just to get this blend and the egg mixed in really egg, and to get the egg mixed in really well. This is what the mixture will look like. Now, at this point, if you want to, you can always add some chia seeds to give it a little bit of a mix. I've got some poppy seeds here. I think I'll add a, just a, a few poppy seeds in there just to give it, um, yeah, just to give it a little bit more flavor, but you don't have to, it's only, it's only option. So, you know, uh, yeah, yeah tablespoon or a couple of tablespoons if you wish of chili soup but I'm just going to just throw a, a handful in here now pop the seeds inside there that's great and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this mixture to the rest of the um, beaten egg whites all right so I'm going to add it here but I, and when I add it I'm not going to beat it anymore with the mix-up, I'm actually going to fold it in because we need some air pockets inside it just to try and make the bread as fluffy as we can. So there, but that's all inside there. And I'm going to use this one here now. And all I'm going to do is now I'm going to fold it in. See, just fold everything in. Instead of beating it, just round and round, I'm going to fold it in. Yeah. And that allows it to be a bit fluffy. Be careful not to over mix this mixture at all. Just, just mix it in. Yeah, be very careful not to over mix this mixture. But yeah, you, you do want to combine it as well as possible. That's looking not too bad there, really. Yeah. Guys, it's coming along nicely. And then we're just going to transfer it to the baking tray. 
<laughs> now, the oven's been on. It's on at about 190, you know, so it's hot and ready to receive this. All right, so let's transfer this into the baking tray. Here we go. Let's put that in there nicely like that. Yeah, go on. Transfer it all inside there. It's not looking too bad. This one out it's gonna taste. What have you been making during the lockdown? Have you been trying anything new, improving your cooking skills? If you have, I'd love to hear in the comments the kind of new things that you've been doing and new things you've been trying during the lockdown period. So here we have it, it's ready for the oven. Yes, I'm gonna put this in the oven now for about 30 minutes, all right? And hopefully there'll be some nice, lovely bread at the end. And you know what I'm really looking forward to? I made some ackee and sawfish earlier on the week. So I'm really looking to enjoy this dish here with the ackee and sawfish, this bread, low carb bread with the ackee and sawfish that I made. I love making low carb Caribbean dishes and possibly in the future I'll show you how I, I make a few of them but let me go and put this in the oven and then I'll come back in 30 minutes when it's all done and fingers crossed it'll come out as I would like to. I'll see you soon. Okay so this is the bread out of the oven just out of the oven we're just going to give it you know five minutes to to cool down and then let's come back and see how that bread looks but it doesn't look too bad looking forward to it okay so the bread's been out of the oven about five minutes let's just see how it looks when I take it out of the baking tray so it will sink slightly in the middle it does that all the time but don't worry about it sinking in the middle let's just release this and just see how the bread looks well I am not going to complain about that. That doesn't look too bad at all. Yes. You know, and there we have it. Low carb bread that you can enjoy on a daily basis. Look, I also, some time ago, I made a, a video about how to make almond milk because I don't drink um, dairy. I drink almond milk but I love making my own almond milk so I'm actually going to post a link to that in this video you should see it appear on the screen in a moment the link to how to make some almond milk that is so easy as well but for now listen during these uncertain times these troubling times you stay safe until the next time from the Lean Mind Body Coach. Bye for now. I'm gonna have some Atkins saltfish with some toasted bread now. Bye for now. Bye.